Hi, Capricorns. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. Let's see what spirit has for you for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. What's next in love? What's going on around you? Anything about a connection that may be coming? It is a general love reading. So take with you what connects to you. Leave the rest for everyone else. Check out your playlist and check out your collective love readings for new love coming towards you. So let's see what spirit has for you. Spirit, I'm here with my Capricorns. If you could please guide me, I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have today. I have a commitment. I can stop right now. <laughs> I'm teasing. Honor and values and loyalty. Somebody wants a commitment. I have starting fresh, a new chapter starting over. It could be somebody coming back into your life or it could be you starting a new chapter in your life and that you are literally starting over and moving on to somebody that will turn into a committed relationship. Loyal, trustworthy, reliable. They honor you. Wow, we're off to a good start. And let's get one more of these. And balance, uh, are things equal? Time to make adjustments. We want somebody who balances us. We want somebody that's our equal, that we're both putting in um, an equal effort. Otherwise, obviously, that's not somebody that we would think of even committing to. But they are saying, actually, they're saying a few more. Okay, Spirit wants a handful more. We'll get some more. Let's see. I have their thinking of you. They can't get you out of their mind. That's nice. I have quality time together. I love being with you. I want to spend more and more time with you. That's when you know somebody really is, you know, moving in the direction of I, I see you as my partner. I see you as sharing my life with you. Is this the time we spend together? And then they're putting you in the spotlight. So right now, the energy around you, Capricorn, if this person is not in your life, you've got somebody coming into your life who, who is going to value you and they're going to put you first. You know, that's something um, that's something that's coming into me that very clearly. Spirit, please share with me. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. Spirit, tell me about this, this new energy. Let's get these flippers. I've got a four of wands. I have a queen of swords. I have a world. Yeah, your whole world is about to change. I, I'm going to say it that way. You're, you're really starting to open yourself up. You could be going from I've been single for a long time. I've been waiting for a long time to your world is um, about to change. And, and that's that's beautiful. You know, if you are just like, you're so ready to receive this love, you just want somebody to come into your life that does see you um, as, you know, I want to start something new with you. But whatever this connection is, it, it is going to be a committed connection. If you are looking for somebody long term, I want to build a life, a foundation, you know, a home, a marriage, a family, whatever it is that you you are searching for in your, um, you know, your manifestations. I feel like just keep your heart into it. I like the connecting to this queen. They, like they value your, your, I think they're attracted to you, of course, but it was more of a mind, body, mind, body and soul. Like I'm attracted to your mind. I like to see how your mind works. Um, but we're coming out of that hermit stage and we are entering into, you know, something that's better. I mean, we come out of a hermit stage, we go into a wheel of fortune. So here's my king of pentacles. Here's my eight of cups. And here's my king of cups. So you've got somebody who is transitioning is how it's coming into me. They could share with you that they just left another relationship. They have been divorced for a few years. They, um, it wasn't serving them. It wasn't what they wanted. And they're looking for something more secure. They're looking for something that they can share their heart with is how it just came into me, that they're ready to um, give their heart to somebody else. They're ready to start again. Ten of Cups. I, this is a big heart, okay? You got big heart, <laughs> big heart energy here. This is somebody who you may even say, 
they're the best thing that ever happened to me because they're just so good to me or they're so kind, they're so caring, they're so loving. But you've got someone coming into your energy that just has a huge heart. And that could be the first thing that you notice about them that I just, um, I love how they treat their friends. I love how they talk to their mother. I love how they are um, caring to everybody else. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to hear? What is it that you need to me to know about this connection? Anything about our past that we need to be aware of, work on? Shocking. Okay. I walked away from something. I found out something. Uh, negative thoughts. Ne somebody was whispering gossip. Okay. This could be, I feel like somebody, um, I'm going to say learned a lesson the hard way. You know, like I trusted this person. I gave this person everything. I, I even had a lot of red flags. So this could be your past or their past. It was like I had a lot of red flags. My intuition was telling me something was wrong, but I kept giving and giving and giving and I wasn't getting it back. So this notes, taking notes is more of like, I've been there, done that. I, I, I should be should have been smarter. I'm kicking myself now for not seeing the flags or not seeing them sooner. But you learned, you learned from that and you're in a better place. Yeah, things were being hidden from somebody. So we could have a big story about, um, you know, just something going on behind the scenes and that somebody else had no clue about it. And they just feel foolish about how could I not have known. But you, you didn't know because the other person was a good liar is the truth. I want to be in a committed relationship with this chosen, you know, I want to love somebody. This person has a heart of gold and I feel like they were, um, I think they were cheated on. I think they were lied to. I think that they, they, their life was destroyed and, and they didn't see it coming it is how it's coming into me. Like they really were thrown for a, sh a loop. So now they're second guessing their decisions or they're struggling with, What's preventing anybody from doing that to me again? Um, because you're a different person and, you know, you value yourself. You have high value. You have high self-worth and you're not the person who hurt them is the difference. So if your person is struggling with that, you know, like I just didn't see it coming, you know, like there was this I should have seen the red flags, whether that's your energy or their energy we both you both are learning from that experience and the next time around you'll see the red flag sooner something like that cupid's arrow have faith love is coming a surprise invitation oh i always love a surprise i want a surprise invitation with somebody i want somebody that has a big heart that comes into your life and your world is about to change so i want to let go of being sideswiped by somebody from my past that person wasn't deserving of you if that's the case um, making healthier choices knowing that i love myself my self-esteem comes first my self-worth comes first pushing energy out of my life that isn't going to be good for me those things are so important love you deserve unconditional love passion affection i love you is coming into me I'm, ta I'm taking care of my past. I'm finally stopping the patterns of n allowing somebody to take advantage of me or take me for granted or to not prove to me that um, they want me to be in their life and only me. So this time around, I'm going to say you're stronger. Your heart is in it. You're making better choices. I'm not going to let anybody hurt me is coming in. So nobody wants to be Nobody wants to be hurt. We want the person who comes into our life that literally opens our heart. And you can see this fun flirting, wanting a date. Someone wants a date. And, um, you know, that's what I want you to focus on. You know, it's the starting over, fresh, you know, clean slate, new beginning. And I feel like it's a new beginning for you. It's a new phase in your life. It could be your second chance at really falling in love with the right person and, you know, just enjoying yourself. So 
let's enjoy the dating, the dating stage, you know, let's enjoy the fun that that's coming your way right now. I've got a lover's card. This is going to turn into something so much more. King of Pentacles, gorgeous, a sense of security. I feel like somebody, you know, when somebody was caught off guard or they were manipulated or they were lied to, you know, it does hold them back, unfortunately, from, from just believing that every there are people out there that are genuinely honest, right? So we've got somebody that has a beautiful heart, a kind soul who was like taken to the ringer. And now they're just struggling with, I want to be in, I want to give you the world, I want to start over. And um, so they, they're just trying to build a secure um, energy around this connection. And it's, and it's, they know it, they know it about themselves. They know that some of their, you know, their thinking isn't probably has anything to do with you. It has to do with old wounds. I don't feel like they take it out on you. I feel like it's just like a, you know, a bandaid on top of the wound. Um, so, but at the same time, they don't want to be alone. Look at this. They see you as, as a gift is how it just came into me. They see you as, I can't believe I've actually met somebody who understands what I've gone through or somebody who is telling me that they would never do that to somebody, you know, and, and that you believe them and that you trust them and that you honor them is how it just came into me. So we have this beautiful, loving connection that is, is a lot stronger and is leading us from this hermit energy, this I'm alone energy to, um, I, I want to be with you all the time energy. Yeah. New feelings, new excitement. Good, good, good. And I just don't want to be disappointed again. But I think you could say that about anybody. I don't know anybody who starts dating somebody new and, and doesn't want to be disappointed. Um, I want to, bottom of the deck, I have a wheel of fortune. Let's just talk about that for a second because we've had two hermit cards and when we go from the hermit and we find the answers within, um, we go right into the wheel of fortune. So spirit gives us that pause in life and that hermit energy where we heal, where we search, where we repair the damage, where we find ourselves again. And then spirit opens up that destiny and that path and what's meant to be in our life. And we head right into that wheel of fortune. So it is very much a feeling of your world is about to change. You know, that for those of you that are single and waiting, you've got this you know, beautiful, loving energy of, you know, I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to hold you. I can't wait to be, you know, in your arms, full time energy. So let's see what the loving messages are. I, I think that you are well on your way to um, being with the person that you're supposed to be with. So sometimes those other people who caused all that havoc in our life and all that, that um, karmic energy in our life, you know, like they did you a tremendous favor because you wouldn't be meeting this person um, had that not happened in your life. So you got to look at it that way sometimes. Like they did you a favor because the best is yet to come. Um, I look into your eyes and I see my soul mirrored back at me. So, you know, it, soulmate energy at its best, right? You know, just this feeling of, um, I truly have found my soulmate. I, I, I look into your eyes and I see something that I haven't ever seen in anybody else's eyes before. Um, I see your heart. I see your soul. They said, this is a big heart. This person has a lot of love to give and you have a lot of love to give, but you're not going to give it freely. You're going to give it um, because you're receiving it back. You know, it's not this, no matter what, I'm going to love you. It's I'm going to love you because you love me and we take care of each other and we're there for each other. So this true partnership. And I think that that's important. So let's see what else they're saying. You make me feel at home. I love being with you. How's that? I'm sorry for everything. How about somebody who is empathy is how that's coming into me. Not somebody that's wronged you, but somebody who has empathy for what you've gone through, that they understand what you've gone through. I'm sorry somebody else hurt you. 
you know, that when you tell your story, they um, genuinely are sorry that somebody hurt you. And that that means everything to you because it tells you that they're listening. They're listening to your feelings. And that's important. I wish you the best in life, no matter what. I want you to be happy. I want you. I want the best for you. You will always have a special heart place in my heart. Even if this, you know, even if we just start out dating, this could be somebody that comes into your life that for whatever reason, it doesn't turn into the rest of your life, but they're, they're some kind of soul connection. Maybe you become friends forever, but they're always going to be special in your heart. So that would be important to know. But I do feel like you are my soulmate. I do feel like this is the person who's supposed to be there. You are the song I can't get out of my head. I can't stop thinking about you now that I've met you. But I just love this feeling of a um, couple of things. You know, just this, I think they're coming into you as a surprise. I'm going to say it that way. I feel like this is a, um, a surprise date. I, they want a date. They get ready for a date, something like that. Um, and then this sense of this big heart coming forward and you're like, oh my God, this person is just so genuine and sincere and honest and open. And they just are so loving. And I feel like that is what you're going to fall in love with. And they're going to fall in love with you for the same reason. So let's put this out to the universe. Your life, your world is about to change. Let's say um, a prayer on that and ask spirit for guidance. I want to thank spirit for these messages. If you are new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words, your comments always. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please um, check out my website below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.